Could you take us back there and explain what was happening and what were the insights that led you and the NVIDIA team to create the first modern GPU? So in the early 90s, when we first started the company, we observed that in a software program, inside it, there are just a few lines of code, maybe 10% of the code does 99% of the processing. And that 99% of the processing could be done in parallel. However, the other 90% of the code has to be done sequentially. It turns out that the proper computer, the perfect computer, is one that could do sequential processing and parallel processing, not just one or the other. That was the big observation. And we set out to build a company to solve computer problems that normal computers can't. And that's really the beginning of NVIDIA. The video games uh, requires parallel processing for uh, processing 3D graphics. And we chose video games because one, we loved the application. It's a simulation of virtual worlds and who doesn't want to go to virtual worlds. And, and we had the good observation that video games has potential to be the largest market for, for entertainment ever. And it turned out to be true. And having it being a large market is important because the technology is complicated. And if we had a large market, our R&D budget could be large. We could create new technology. And that flywheel between technology and market and greater technology was, was really the flywheel that got NVIDIA to become one of the most important technology companies in the world. And it was all because of video games.